All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yashar Allah. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Achat, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Achat, Wadash, Barak, Thum, Suiza Kwanium, Wa'akim, Wa'akwafium. You know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole full elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Giving diligence to make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in these last days and these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai, Bon Yashallah. This will be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Papi Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. You know, kind of like a continuation of the video I did last night, you know, going to how, you know, we, the hopeful elect, of course, us being hopeful that we're part of them of the elect, we're going to rejoice and celebrate with Yahweh Shai when he returns. You know, so when our Lord and Savior make a second coming, the elect will get beamed up and low willing. I'm a part of that number, your brothers listening, and you few sisters, you know. But going to the men of the nation of Israel, the elect men, we, when we all get beamed up, women can get beamed up too, of course. But basically, the elect men will get crowns placed on their heads, you know. And we're all going to rejoice and celebrate with Yahweh Shai. You see? Now, according to the scriptures of Revelation 21st chapter, New Jerusalem is going to descend. And I'm going to this right fast through the Spirit. And when New Jerusalem descend, what is that going into? The elect descending out of the chariots. You know what I'm saying? A, a new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. That's the elect descending out of the chariots to establish what? Righteousness on this earth, man. Because right now the earth has been given to the hand of the wicked as written in the book of um, Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And who's that? The elites on down. You know, everything's under the vibration of Satan. You know, this, this is a demonic and evil world that we're living in right now. You see, everything that's um, contrary to the scriptures, you know, they say it's okay to do. And everything that's that's um according to the scriptures, they say, nah, that's not okay to do. Don't do that. You know? Basically, right now, it's a do as thou will spirit out here. But the Lord, when he comes back, he's gonna shut all that down. All these false gods and idols that people serve, all that that's done for, man. You know, all the idols of the nations, all these nations are gonna bow down to Yahweh Shai and keep the laws and commandments to the best of their ability, man. You know, they're gonna keep the laws of the Heavenly Father to the best of their ability. And if they don't, they're gonna get put to death, they're gonna get slain. Yahweh Shah said that, you know, he that would not have that I reign over him, bring him hither to me and slay him before me, man. See, Yahweh Shah is an austere man. So what do you think the Heavenly Father is? He's an austere man. You see, the Heavenly Father don't play no games. So that's what's gonna happen once the, the elect um descend, that's new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. I'm gonna start with that precept. You know, I, matter of fact, I'll get it right now. Right? As a matter of fact, Slaki, let me start off with this one. I'm gonna roll through the spirit. And low willing to get edified, and low willing to be a faith builder to the hopeful elect. You Akim, Wak, Wafim, you brothers and sisters that believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Because that's another thing, too. Once, once um, Yahweh Shai returns, you know, order is going to be set on this earth, man. You know, a woman going to be back in a right mind, man. Right now, a woman are totally, totally bugged the hell out, man. Even women that claim to be in the truth, that claim to believe in the scriptures. <laughs> You read Isaiah 4 and 1 to them, demon come out. Oh, I don't know. That's off. That's off. And I know. You bring, out the, you bring out the law, you know, going to pertain until, you know, a man being able to have more than one woman in the situation. If a man loves one woman than the, more than the other, you know, basically he bared a, a firstborn son to a woman that's hated, you know, one that he don't love as much as the other. He can't just cast that one away. You know, that one still gets the inheritance. That's his firstborn son. You see? So... That's another thing to look forward to. You know, the, the divine order that, that's supposed to be set up right now, but it's not. Everything's, you know, turned upside down. You know, it's good to say that. Surely you turn up things upside down as it's written in the scriptures. You know, also they, what they call evil, they call it good. No, um, they call evil good and good evil. Scriptures say, woe unto them not do that. You know, so guess what? When Yahweh shall come back, righteousness will be established on this earth, man. The divine order. The Most High Yahweh, His Son Yahweh Shai, Man, woman, simple like that, and that's gonna go for all nations. All nations are gonna be under that vibration, man. The man is gonna be over the women of all the nations. You will not have no more by woman, you know, trying to establish you serve authority over the, the more by man. If any woman of that nation try to do that, we're gonna automatically check them on that and put her ass, put her ass to death. You see, make we're gonna make examples out of these nations, man, and they're gonna be they're gonna rejoice, man. Under our rulership Because we're not We're not a wicked people The Lord did not create us To be wicked He created us To be the righteous He created Esau To be the wicked 
all these nations are mourning on the Esau's rulership. As a matter of fact, let's start with that one. Right? I'm sorry, I'm doing a lot of talking. Get to these precepts, man. Right? So we got a lot to look forward to. And, and listen, you sisters, out, you sisters out there should look forward to that as well. Because, you know, right now, you're under, like, a, a lot of you, a majority of you are under demonic spell. You know, but once all hell breaks loose in society, the Lord gonna cast that spell off of you. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be like, oh, shit. The whole time of my life, I've been, I've been tweaking. You know? I've been trying to be over the man. I need a man right now. You know? I need a man of the Lord right now. When all hell breaks loose, people getting raped and ravished and killed and uh, eating alive. You know what I'm saying? Legs chopped off, blown to bits. You know, grabbed up to fever camps and concentration camps, getting beheaded, getting tortured. You know, everyone going around taking the, the um, MOTB. You know, man, these, these women gonna get, they're gonna totally get an order in that time. And they're gonna be like, oh shit, I, the whole, my whole life was, has been an illusion. <laughs> right? La La Land, this is a, this a westernized society. You know? So, we don't, at the end of the day, if you don't get it, we're not gonna sit there and be like, oh damn, like, why can't this person get it? You know, we understand that it's going to take uh, 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 things to kick off on this earth for a lot of people, with Israelites, to believe. Like Psalm, Psalms 110 and verse 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. When the Lord be delivering brothers out of certain situations, giving us spiritual power, sending angels, animals to feed that brother, that's when everyone going to get down with the truth. But for the vast majority, it's going to be too late. Let's read this. Um, Proverbs 29 and verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. You see, and who's the righteous? The Israelites. You see, the Israelites. Starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, on down. You know, because he's the lion from the tribe of Judah. And when he comes back, he's going to establish righteousness on this earth. You know, whether you want to get down with it or not, you're going to be forced to get down with it. It'll be a total righteous dictatorship. There'll be no democracy, no voting. Oh, no, I vote for um, him to rule over me. You know, I'll vote for this person. What the fuck? It's off with his head, man. Off with your head. If you don't want your house shot to rain over you, off with your head, man. Simple like that. Right? So it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Because guess what? You're going to rejoice at the end of the day. All you nations, except for Esau, wicked ass Edom, all you nations are going to get your land back after a thousand years. You know? You're going to be tributaries to the nation of Israel. We're going to have to get the best of your crops, the best of your cattle, the best of your women. You know? If you got, if you got a certain wood that grows from a certain tree in your land, the best wood in, oh, in that in that province, whatever, you know, we need that. <laughs> we need that. You know, y'all gonna be bring the, the scriptures say the gates of Jerusalem shall be open continually. Y'all gonna be bringing us what? We're gonna suck the milk of the Gentiles. All your resources. We need all of that. Give us a, give us it all. The gold, the sapphire, the rubies. Now y'all gonna have some left for yourself, you know. And we're gonna have servants from other nations. And you think our servants gonna be looking like hell? No. Our servants gonna we're gonna have our servants decked out. You know, because we're a royal, we're a royal people, you know? So when the Lord blesses us with everything, you know, we're gonna have we might have a servant that's an Ishmaelite or a servant that's a Hamite. We're gonna have Hamite taskmasters over taskmasters over you Edomites. You Edomites though, bottom of the bottoms. You're not gonna look decked out at all. But after a while, living for eternity, you know what I'm saying? Being kings and priests and judges, the other nation's gonna rejoice, man. They're like, man, man, oh man, I can't wait for the Israelites to come through our town, man, come through our, our country. You know, you know, we've been doing the right thing to the best of our ability. We've been keeping all the heavenly fathers, Yahweh, His laws. We've been keeping His commandments. You know, you see, they're gonna be, they're gonna be look forward to us coming over. They, you know, we're gonna either bless them or condemn them according to the law. You know, so we got a lot to look forward to, man. You know, and these are things that we gotta meditate and ponder on. You see, let's read this again, Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. So right now, who's ruling? Esau, Edom, the so-called white nation. And they're not white. There's nothing white about them. They're red. They're different shades of red. That's why they they, they blood show through their skin. They have no um, no pigment on um, no melanin. You know, lack of pigmentation. They got recessive genes in their eyes. See, see, everyone in the in the society been totally brain uh, uh you can say brainwashed on the left hand side. You know, because you know if you if you if your brain get washed, it means it's getting cleansed. You know, but they their brains is damaged, man. They got brain damage. You know, for them to look on TV, our women look on TV, see the blonde hair, you know what I'm saying? See the green eyes and blue eyes and all of this shit. But that's so beautiful. I want that. That's what sets of genes. You know, they can't look in the sun for too goddamn long. They'll get skin cancer. You know, the sun don't like them. You know, and who created the sun? Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. So that lets you know what? That the Heavenly Father hates them. 
You know, that's the curse, you know, that they've been placed with. You know, we know Cain is Aisha. Cain came back as Esau, Edom, you know? So understand this, man. Right now, they're the ones that's run, running this earth in wickedness and they're not white, they're not righteous or pure. They're the ones that are truly black. They're the ones that are truly dark inside, you know? They're the ones that's truly evil. Esau, Edom, and he was created to be that, you know? Can a leopard change his spots? Can an Ethiopian man change his skin? As he ran, no, they cannot. You know, so they was created to be that, and that's what they will be. And then after a thousand years of hard bondage and slavery, they're gonna get exterminated off the face of the earth. And I'm gonna go into the precepts on what's gonna be happening once Yahweh Shah returns, man. What's gonna get established on this earth? I'm about to go into it. So that's it on that, right? So when the righteous bear, when the righteous are in authority, people rejoice. When the wicked bear, the people mourn. Let's read this. Uh, Second Peter three and verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And we know the day of the Lord is what? Darkness, gloominess, distress, lamentations, mournings, woes, you know, dire straits. You see, that's the day of the Lord. Fire, right? Fire, the Lord has come with fire. Luke 12 and verse 49 says what? I'm come, Yahweh Shah said to that his own mouth. I ain't come to send fire on the earth. What will life had already be kindled? Roughly paraphrasing, let me just read it, you know? Let me read it. Cause when our Lord come back, he coming back to send fire. Fire gonna be coming down from them chariots. Laser beams, concentrated heat. Are gonna be coming from them chariots. And World 3 already gonna be popping off. Let's read this, Luke 12 and 49. Right in the reads. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I, if it already, if it be already kindled, you know? That's why I have to read it because I didn't um, quote it all, 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 um, all the way correctly, you know? He said, what will I if it be already kindled, man? So all hell can be break loose once our Lord returns, you see? And, he gonna have to, and, we, gonna, and we, Lord willing, and part of them of the elect, you know? We're going to establish order on this earth, righteousness on this earth, man. And those that don't want to get down with, you're going to start the Israelites scattered around the world. Not in Babylon and Great, but scattered around the world, you know? And we're going to have to purge out the rebels of them. Those that don't want to get down with Yahweh Shai. You know? So we got a lot to look forward to. So let's go back to 2 Peter 3 and verse 10. And it reads, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Now, great noise, you know what that's going into. The ICBM nuclear missiles that are going to get shot on America very soon. Because we see everything that, you know, leading up to that with Russia, China, North Korea. You know, Iran, you know they got nuclear arsenal, but they're just probably trying to hide it, keep it in the, keep it under the wraps. But the cat is out the bag. The prophets know what's going on around the world. You know? So that great noise, that big boom. You see? And the element's gonna melt what fervent heat is gonna read it. So they're gonna say it, right? So it says, the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and everything made up of elements. So er everything gonna melt with fervent heat, everything gonna melt. People gonna melt. You know, their skin gonna melt off their flesh. You know, metal, metal off their bones, I'd rather say it like that. Their eyes are gonna melt inside their eye sockets. Their tongue will cleave, their tongue gonna um, melt inside their mouth. You know, as they stand upon their feet, they still gonna be standing, but melting. Man, man, people gonna, that's why you gotta, that's why, you know, you gotta be moved with fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. If you don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, then I don't know what the hell to tell you, man. Right, so it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So what manner of persons are ye to be? Knowing that all these things are going to take place on this earth, you should be what? Rehearsing the righteous acts, you know? Which is keeping the commandments the best of your ability, man. Serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Doing the things that please the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. If you're not doing that, then what the fuck are you doing, man? Not for real. Like, what are you doing? You know, you're doing wickedness, man. It's only, it's only, it's, it's no in betweens. If you're not doing what pleases Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability, you're on the left hand. You know, meaning you're pleasing Satan, man. You know, you're doing his bidding. Satan is at your right hand. Okay, so lucky for that. Um, Satan, you know what I'm saying? Fucking my phone, it just cut off out of nowhere. But in any event, I'll continue on, you know, with the lesson. And I'll just read this again, right? So. 2 Peter 3 and verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what men of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So only only thing about to come to pass on this earth, what man of persons are you to be? 
or we to be, you know? We gotta be rehearsing our just acts, praying, fasting, and enduring. Keeping faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know? Trying our best to be righteous, man. Understanding that our righteousness is our filthy rags, you know? So verse 12, looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to be looking forward to this, man. You know, being on your watch, measuring thou the time dilig diligently in itself, man. You know, watching and praying always, man. You know, look at the news, you know, see what's going on around the world, worldwide um, events, you know, natural disasters, what's going on around here? What's going on in Indonesia? What's going on over in Japan and Hong Kong and China? What's going on in North Korea? What are they talking about? Go on to those things, man. Be on your watch. You see, because we understand what the prophecies unfolding as we speak. As we're doing this lesson, the prophecies unfolding, man. We're almost out of here. Yeah, how shy he about to come back. We're, we're, we're real close, man. Real close. It's like something brothers get us no they know, we know it. We can just feel it in our spirit. Man, we close, man. The Lord giving us spiritual signs. Brothers seeing 144. 444 a lot. 744. 7144. You know? Seven is completion. You know? So that everything is about complete. The elect is damn near still. And what's that relation? Seven chapter. You know? So man, we we almost home, man. Chariot sightings? Come on now. Brothers and brothers was inside their their home, you know, doing a lesson. The chariot flew through the window just so the camera could catch it. The Lord know what he's doing, man. The Lord, it's like it. The Lord had him set up the camera that angle for a reason. Then he told the angel, I go, you know, angel just flew by. You know what I'm saying? And, and it got bright as it flew by, man. That was for them brothers to notice. Oh snap, look at that. Well, they, you know, you know when brothers review their videos, they reviewing a video. Oh snap, oh, that's a chariot call. Hold on, y'all watching that shot. Posted it, brother shared it. I seen it, other brothers seen it, and that, what did I do? That boost our faith up. You know? So brothers, we're close. Each day that goes by is another day closer to Yahweh Shah's return. Let's read on down. Verse thir 13. No, 12, Slakia. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the elect, you know, we, the hopeful elect, because we hope and pray that we're part of that number. Right? So it says, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, so when Yahweh shall come back, he's going to do, he do what? Establish righteousness. Let's read that. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. So is, is John, did John really see a new earth and a new heaven? What is heaven talking about? Rulership. Right now, this is Esau's heaven. This is his kingdom, right? And this is our hell. But it's about, it about to get flipped. Our kingdom is coming. His hell is coming, you know? And it says a new earth. The earth abided forever. As written in Ecclesiastes 1 and verse uh, 4. or Yeah, 1 and verse 4, I believe. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. How the, um, one, generation, one generation passes away and another cometh. But the earth abided forever. The Lord created the earth to abide forever. Man, he created it for people to dwell in. His, his people. He created it for the Israelites. You know? So the new earth is going to how the earth going to be renewed. You know? Everything going to be rejuvenated. Because right now the earth is mourning, man. The earth is mourning, man. You see? The earth itself, the trees, the animals, the plants, is all mourning under Esau's rulership. But guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, everything around us is natural element, man. We're not going to pollute the goddamn water, pollute the air with chemtrails and shit. No. We're going to take care of this planet, man. You know, we're going to love this planet. You see? And the planet going to love us, man. The earth is alive, man. So all the trees got spirits, everything got spirits in it, man. You know? Man, they're mourning. You see? But guess what? They're gonna rejoice, man. Oh, they, oh finally, they're just in power, man. Finally. They know what's coming. You know? Come on now. So it says, a, a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. The scripture say what? The fashion of this world passed away. So this society is about to come crumbling down fast. Right? Then it says, And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the heavenly Father out of heaven. What is that talking about? The Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel, coming down. 
descended out of the chariots right so let's read that again and i john is saint john revelator when he was on the island of patmos you know getting all the different visions and dreams and i john saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down from the heavenly father from power let's read it, let's read it um how it's written right it's like it. revelation 21 and 2 and i john saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down from god out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband you know we're bidding right now we're fishing bidding them to the marriage then the marriage is about to come and when the marriage come you don't want your garments spiritually to be um to have ketchup stains and barbecue sauce on it you see you want to be um in them white robes uh, um blameless spotless right so verse three and i heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god the heavenly father yahweh is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people right and god the heavenly father yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power you see so what's going to happen once the hopeful elect the elect descend out of um, them chariots where yahweh shot let's read this matter of fact i'll get this first Isaiah 24 and verse 20. The earth shall rail to and fro like a drunkard. That's the nuclear missiles, right? And it says, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. I'm talking about those ruling the earth right now. They're gonna fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high. And the kings of the earth upon the earth Who's the host of the high ones that's on high? The elites The Lord getting ready to punish the elites, man Turn the brightness a little bit Right, the Lord gonna punish the elites Right And they shall be gathered together as a prison As prisoners are gathered in the pit And shall be shut up in the prison And after many days shall they be visited You know, so that's, that's the order the Lord gonna give to the elect men Of the nation of Israel to gather these elites up All around the world And put them in a pit they're going to go from their mansions straight to a pit. The underground bunker is straight to a pit. You know, let's get this. Uh, Jeremiah 16. <clears throat> and verse 16, and it reads, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. So right now it's fishing season. And who are we fishing for? The elect of the nation of Israel. Right? And they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. You see? For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. Right? So the Lord is going to send the elect to hunt you elites. Slakia. Like I turned the brightness a little bit, it's trying to get dark. Right? Soon close out. You know. I want to do like a quick lesson straight to the point. Now I want to get this though, Psalms. Psalms 149. And I'll start verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, new song. And his praise in the congregation of his of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. And it's going to be happening once the elect is in them chariots, man. You know, we're going to be praising the Lord forever and ever and ever. You see? Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and harp. For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in, in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Oh yeah, card is coming up. Let the high praises of the heavenly Father be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, 
and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise you the lord so that new jerusalem come down from heaven is the elect and once he let descend out of them chariots what they're going to do establish order on this earth righteousness on this earth we're going to grab all you elites up all you all the top people in all these other nations we're going to grab all y'all all the survivors we're going to grab all you up chain you up bring you to the land of israel straight to work and we're going to establish the law let's get that isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 the word that isaiah the son of amos saw concerning judah and jerusalem and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Mountains represents government. What's the Lord's government? That's Daniel, the, um, is it the second chapter? Let me see. Yeah, the end of the second chapter. <clears throat> right, going to Nebuchadnezzar's dream and Daniel's breaking it down. I want to get to a point though. Daniel 2 and verse 35. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together. It become like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. I mean, there's no, no way they're coming back into power. Right, those nations, you know, we're basically going to the... um. Slakia. You got the Babylonians, Persian and Medes, the Greeks, the Romans. And the iron, part iron, part clay is the NATO and the EU, the B system that's set up. Right? <clears throat> and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them. And the stone that, that smote the image of, um, suck it. And the stone that smote the image, because the stone smote the image upon the feet. Because <clears throat> when you your house shot that stone, when you return to who can be in power. So the feet was, it said the feet was like part iron and part clay. That's NATO and EU, the B system, right? So when your house shall come back, NATO and EU can be in power, you know? Not the Greeks, you know? And not the Babylonians, not the Persian and Medes, you know? Not the Romans, but well, technically, because the Romans are revised, this is Esau's kingdom, so Esau's ruling, but under the beast, the NATO and EU, the iron, part iron, part clay. That was the feet, and the stone smoked the image upon the feet. Meaning when your house shall returns, you're gonna destroy this, this infrastructure. Right? But watch this. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. What is that talking about? Yahweh and the elect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh establishing righteousness on this earth. You know, becoming a great mountain. That's the tabernacle of David, 144,000. You see? The kingdom of heaven, man. Let's go back. Isaiah 2 and verse 2 and it shall come to, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it and many people shall go and say come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord's house like Saki let us go up to the Saki read from the top verse 3 and many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mount of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. See, the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. So when, when um, Yahweh shall come back, you know, none of you nations are going to have to go to war with each other no more. You know, because none of y'all will be able to be in power. It's like when war is fought, it's fought for power and they want to siege the city or land or something like that. You know, so when Yahweh shall returns, that's a wrap. You see, it's over. You know, we're going to establish the law out of Jerusalem, out of Zion, right? Then it says, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. That's going to happen during that time. You see? So that's something that's, that's coming very soon. That's the prophecy. Right? Then it says, verse 6, Therefore thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they be uh, re till, sorry, because they be replenished from the east, and are soothsayers like the Philistines, 
and they please themselves and the children of strangers. Yeah, who's going off? Who's people going off? Right? But in any event, that was the point I wanted to bring out on that. Right? So the law. So once once the elect descend out of them chariots, um, low will and part of them of the elect, your brothers, listen in, we're gonna establish what? The law and commandments. We're gonna gather up all these nations, we're gonna bind them up with chains, bring them to the land of Israel, and they're gonna have to um serve captivity and bondage. You know? And they got to build up Jerusalem. And Jerusalem we built up with precious stones, you know, metals. You know, so we got a lot to look forward to, man. You know, so I'll end it right there, man. Uh in closing, I'll get another precept in closing. Right? They get one more precept. Because it's starting to get real dark. I noticed that. So I'm gonna see if I turn in my brightness, you know, I might have to edit it. Psalms 126 and verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream, right? Then it was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And then said they among the heathen, the Lord Yahweh have done great things for them. The Lord Yahweh have done great things for us. Well, we are glad, man. The Lord did great things for us, man. And we should be glad. Turn again our captivity, O, o Lord Yahweh, Shai, as the streams in the south, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing in sheaves with him. All right, Salakia. So like yep, yep. Yeah, man. So the Lord about to deliver us, man. You know, so this happening very soon. I pray it's edified the spirit of y'all about you, Shai. You know, so out of them chariots, the elect gonna come down, gather up the other nations, straight to work. And we're going to establish the law out of Zion, the law out of Jerusalem. And any nation that don't want to keep the law, you're going to get put to death. Examples will be made out of you, right? So I pray you, Father, the Spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, I want to give for all line, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, without him, say, Shalom, Wah, Baba, Baal, Shalom.